This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Wednesdays with Yaya. Again, my beautiful wife, my gorgeous, lovely, intelligent wife, Yaya. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, today's topic is uh, is something I think everyone can take something from, and that is what people think about you is none of your business. Yeah. Yeah. You want to yeah. kick it off or want me to kick it off? That's a big one. I think it's something that can definitely slow you down, mm -hmm. um, get in the way of big plans. Um, and why do, we, why do we care about what another person thinks when we're on another path? Why is that important to us? It's definitely a distraction. Right, right. But I think when, uh, I think innately, when we think about what people say about us, we we think of it in a, in a total negative connotation. Mm -hmm. But even if people are saying positive things about us and giving us rewards and trophies and patting us on the head and the back, that can be a hindrance. True. That can be something that mm -hmm. makes you lose focus, mm -hmm. makes you lazy, right? And can give you a sense of entitlement. That's true. Uh, I was listening listening to someone. It was uh, uh, Beanie Sigel, the rapper Beanie Sigel mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Rock, Rockefeller uh, State Property Group, and he said, "Sense of entitlement." is the death to hard work and sacrifice. Mm. Yeah. It's, 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 That's the truth. It's the death to it. And uh, and that can happen when people are saying positive things about you and making you uh, feel like you're bigger than life, like you got it going on. Mm -hmm. And so when I say what people say about you, what people think about you, it's none of your business. I'm talking about the naysayers and the cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. You got to stay balanced and focused mm -hmm. because the naysayers can get you down. Right. And put you in a state of depression, hopelessness, second guessing yourself, insecure. But the guys who are cheering you on can make you lazy. Like I said, give you that sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. They're both distractions. So actually, we should tune ourselves out of both. I wouldn't say totally tune it out, but take it with a salt, a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, but you know how you wake up in the morning and you have your person you meditate to, mm -hmm. have that to add that positivity into your ear. Right. Then you have tuned out the positive and the negative. Right. It's time so, to get to work. Yeah. It's time to get to work. Um, yeah. I mean, I always felt even with the people that are cheering you on. Mm -hmm. when you allow them to validate you and uh, give you value and uh, put you on a pedestal, when you give them that power, you also give them the power, power to tear you down, to take you off that pedestal. So you got to take the bad with the good with that. You know, you can't just have it one way. It's something else that comes with that too. When that person loses faith in you, when you mess up, there's a scandal or whatever. Um, they get mad at you. You give them that power to put you on a pedestal. You also give them that power to tear you down. And we see it happen happen with athletes or celebrities all the time. Uh, I think it's a it's a hard industry to be in when your name is seen when when you know you you know when you're the talk of the town and you already come into playing basketball, being an actress or an actor, and you right. still already have insecurity issues. Right, right.
But that's that's the reason you have to uh, have the right people around you. Mm -hmm. You have to have a, a blend of people who uh, who keep you balanced. You know, you have to have people that are still kind of hungry on their way up, even though you might have made it. You got people you're connected to people that are on their way up. Mm -hmm. uh, that inspires you. You can see where they come from. Uh, I know the rapper Ludacris, the actor rapper Ludacris. He still has, I believe it's an Acura legend, an 83, I think, an 83 or 93 Acura mm -hmm. legend. Mm -hmm. He still has it. Those are nice. As, but he has <laughs> it as a reminder where he comes from to keep him hungry, to keep him humble, to mm -hmm. keep him balanced. You know, I'm sure he got the Rolls Royce, the Fer Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, you, you name it. I'm sure he has it. He's rapped about the Escalade. But he keeps that Acura legend uh, on his property to remind him where he's come from, to keep him focused, and to let him also know he could easily go back to that, that spot too if uh, he's not on his A game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think you listen to it, you take it, like I said, with a with the, uh, grain of salt, mm -hmm. and uh, you keep moving. You keep working, keep moving, stay focused, stay balanced. And I, when I say balance, you can live on both levels. You can live in several worlds. That high-end world, five-star uh, restaurants. Hey, you're able to go to the to the uh, the shack, the hole in the walls too, and vibe with those people, mm -hmm. and right in the middle also. And so, uh, just being relatable, being grounded, right. but also knowing your worth. Right. Yeah. But yeah, never give the power to someone else. Right. And once you start listening and buying into that negativity or that positivity, it could be detrimental mm -hmm. to you. It could bring you down. Yeah. Yeah. Because people on the on a on the positive end, people are catering to you. Right? Yes. You're rarely been told no. Uh they're enabling you. They're waiting on you hand to foot staff yes men yeah the whole world changed right mm -hmm. right and so you don't face a lot of rejection or resistance and so uh they can give you a false identity a false sense of identity and so it's good to keep those people around that can keep it real with you it's not going to be yes men just keep it straight with you mm -hmm. and uh but also respect your growth and the platform you've excelled to Right. Yeah. Right. That's tricky. That's well, tricky. That is tricky. Yeah, I think I think a few people have done a done a great job from afar. Yeah. But you made uh, a key point though. When you're that person that's on the ground, you know, the, the light is on you, you gotta have that 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 team on the side that knows you mm -hmm. um uh, that balances you out and say, No, nah, no, nah, this person yeah. is not Right. Please leave. Right, right. <laughs> or, or that ain't the play. Right. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Right, we recognize some things. Right. Or, or has a good ear can, and, and mm -hmm. can say, hey, man, the way you talk to that waitress, that ain't you. Mm. And you wouldn't have done that two years ago. Right. Right? Right. And you got to have enough respect for that person to go, you know what, man, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. And so, and so you know, you got to have people around you where you respect them enough to pull your coattail. On the flip side of that, on the negative side, <clears throat> I think we uh, project <clears throat> a lot of times that people are saying negative things about us. Yeah. Because we're saying negative things about ourselves and we're projecting that that's how people feel. Now, sometimes people are saying negative things and have negative thoughts, but mm -hmm. just my belief, I think we project that most times. We do. And that energy can come out. Mm -hmm. It can start start coming out of you. People can start saying that that's a weakness of yours, that's an insecurity of yours, and jump all on that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to keep this short. Anything you want to add? No, this is good. I mean, it's 
a lot to think about. So takes a strong mind. Yeah, takes a strong mind not to get too high, mm -hmm. too low. Um, and you may get too high and too low at times, but you can come back center. Right. You have some people. You have people around you. You have enough internal integrity to come back to that center point and make it balanced. Exactly. Yeah, but uh, yeah, people stay focused. Do the work. Focus on the work. Focus on your gifts, your purpose, your mission. Take this stuff with a grain of salt, man. Salt. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. I'm telling you. And uh, you'll thank me later. So as always, I know this was short. <laughs> as always, from us to you, love, peace. peace.